sorry. Just let, we're just gonna let it play for a second while people join us. Cool. How's your day? <laughs> Pretty exciting. Two viewers. Got Tony. Did you know that you can put a mask hey on? Hey guys, uh, <laughs> we're just gonna hang tight real quick while we wait for some people to join us. But uh, I'm gonna be trying to put together the uh, Omniket standees here. Uh, we've had some people ask for some help with putting these together, uh, and uh, I haven't done it yet, so I'll get to experience the challenges that you guys will in trying to fold these together, so it should be a lot of fun. But uh, I, uh, I did have a friend kind of walk me through it yesterday, so uh, I think I can give you guys a few pointers and tips. There's, a, uh, It's pretty straightforward, but there are some parts I can totally see why folks get a little confused. As with all origami paper standy things, uh, there can be some challenging parts to it. So we're going to try to make it a little easier for you guys and uh, show you uh, how to do it. Um, so we'll get started here in just a minute. Thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. And uh, if you guys do have questions too as I'm going along, you can of course ask in the comments. Jordan there is holding the camera. Uh, see if you can maybe wave Jordan and, and say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll be helping out in uh, monitoring if you guys have any questions for us. Uh, also, if you guys had questions about Amiket too, I'll try to have my best to answer as well uh, and uh, help you guys get ready for the pre-release, which is coming up in just 18 days. Wow, so soon. So we're really excited for that. Uh, so I think I'll just go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm packing my kit. I'm sure folks will join us as we do that. Um, so you guys, I know you guys got a lot of stuff in your kit, and uh, we've had a lot of different questions about what it's all for. Uh, hopefully we've been able to help answer those, or we've been able to help answer it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really cool new programs that we're rolling out. Um, with Amintet for the very first time. So, and we're really trying to create these programs to help you guys be able to better drive repeat in-store play, and also to do it in a way that leads uh, kind of intuitively one into the next. So, uh, you know, everything is going to be starting with Magic Open House on the 15th, and then leading into pre-release and things like that. So, we're just going to try to put together one of these handies here today. Uh, give it a shot. Uh, right out of the box. So Matthew, Matthew says you have nice hair. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I spent a lot of time not brushing it this morning. <laughs> so um, when you pull these things out of the box, this is kind of your first piece. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys have already built this, so you'll get to giggle as I try to figure out how to do it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, fold this piece a little bit, just along the creases so that we kind of give it the shape that we want it to take once it's all where it needs to be. Okay. And uh, the first part for me, the first thing I wanted to do um, uh, is down here. So again, this is the bottom part of the sandy. We're going to try to get this into the shape it wants to be in for this first part. So. You fold here, and this tab is going to insert into the piece right here so that it creates this kind of like poking out part. So this is the first part here, right here. And I'm going to fold this up so that it will form the base. And then I'm just going to set that on the ground there, and it's going to come undone because that's how these things work. So let's try it again. And set that tab. There we go. So now it kind of has this rough shape. Then we're going to take the back piece that acts as the support. And uh, again, uh, we're just going to set it down on here to prep us putting it all together and in there like we want. So the next thing I'm going to try to do here is uh, put 
put these side tabs into the back slots here. And uh, you have the hole here to give you some leverage, so you can just push that side uh, tab right in there. I want to do that for each of them, like so. Is that a note on your hand? <laughs> that is a note on my hand. <laughs> when the to-do list on the phone isn't enough, you write a note on your hand. All right. I got that going. And then what we got that bottom part folds in. The bottom top. part folds in? Inside of it. Yeah. This. So, again, this bottom tab, this direction. Okay, and then we're going to come up here and do the same thing. So we've already creased our sandy, so it's a little easier to maneuver. But we're just going to try to stick these tabs where they're supposed to go. there to help give you some leverage to do that. There we go. And so now you have kind of the general shape of your first standee. So then, the next part I'm gonna do is grab one of these guys. Oops, nope, not that guy, that's Gideon. Um, there's a support piece. One of these guys. So this is the little piece that goes on the back. Again, we'll just, we're gonna fold along all of our creases. Let's see, do I remember this part? Ah, there we go. Okay. So, uh, it comes in flat, and what you want to do is fold the sides in so that it creates the standing part. And then if you see these notches, so the notch here, the notch here when it's flat, these notches want to go here. So you fold in and slide it down so that it locks into place. Can you do that again? Yeah. So we're, here's it is flat. This notch wants to go here. So we fold in and notch it into place. I think we want to do that at the same time as the other side, so I'm going to undo it. So again, both sides are folded in, and then we want to line it up and then just notch it into place, right? And it will pop into place, locking in. And uh, this tab folds forward like this, because what's going to happen is, it folds backwards, sorry, like this. And what's going to happen is, uh, nope, I was right the first time. Mm -hmm. This is the way it's supposed to look because that tab is going to go in down here. Uh, and I think the order I want to do that is reverse it. It's going to slide this first top part into here. Right. And using these holes as leverage. And then we're going to slide the bottom tab in here. Like with origami, the thing you want to do is crease, pre-crease all of the folds. I find that helps a lot in making the whole process a little easier once you get to the, actually, the actual assembly. So then you have three different things that you can insert into your standee. We're going to start with Mr. Gideon here. And we're going to pop it out. 
So one thing to be careful of is kind of like, you don't want to tear the, the front picture part off, obviously. So I find that just really running along it and uh, applying a little pressure helps from accidental tearing of the art. Because as you can see, these pieces sometimes can grab the, the front layer and kind of tear the art up and you end up with a pretty beat up looking sandy before you even put it together, which always stinks. So just trying to make sure we prevent that here. you suggest tearing backwards away from the art so you don't technically destroy the art. That's a great suggestion. So I like that a lot. So like pushing back away from it so you don't accidentally tear the art rather than pulling forward like I was doing. That makes it even easier. So once you've punched them out, this part's pretty easy, right? You have your dotted line fold here. And that's just going to hook into your standing. See these slots right here, this slot right here. So we're just going to slide them on the bottom there. And then come over here and hook them in. It's always the last step. Oh, you're right. Let's try it again. And boom, hooked in. And there you have it. A nice little standee for you. One of three, four, almond cat. Uh, hopefully that video was helpful more than confusing. Uh, if you guys do have more questions, you can always drop in, in the, here in the Facebook group, group and ask. Other retailers will have great tips, I'm sure, on assembling these guys and anything else you might have questions about. Uh, and we're really excited for Amiket and all of the different events that we're going to be having coming up. And uh, we're really excited to see all the cool events you guys are going to be running. Uh, in fact, I'm actually going to be in New York over uh, April 13th through the 17th. Uh, over that weekend, we're going to be checking out some stores in the area, as well as uh, visiting with 20 Sided Store and their uh, open house event. Uh, they're running a magic social to help bring in new players, which should be a lot of fun. Keep an eye out for the live stream for that. Uh, we're going to be checking in with the store owner as they're running the event to ask uh, what they did and how they plan and how they attract new players to the game and to their store. Uh, we hope all of these different events help you to leverage uh, bringing in new and more players and building your magic community so you have a robust play community in your store. And as always, uh, if you have questions about these events, let us know. And if you have feedback about what's working, what could be better, what things you would like to see out of these events in terms of support or uh, options, those are really useful in helping us make our events better and better every time. So uh, we hope you enjoy all of the cool Amonkhet events. We hope these standees have uh, not been too difficult for you to put together and that this video is able to help you out. Uh, if you guys have anything else, we'll see you online and see you in the Facebook group. Thanks, guys, and we'll catch you later.